First problem. Please find the measure of arc CB. Two letters. Two letters means it's a minor arc. That means your answer should be less than 180. Don't yell it out. Just write it on your whiteboard. No need to yell it out. The one that starts at C and ends at B. No, I did. Sorry. Huge. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yes. Try again. Yes. Try again. Yes. Try again. Good job. Very nice. Try again. Try again. Very nice. What's wrong? Yep. <coughs> Not done. Try again bigger. Try again smaller. No. We're not dividing anything by two. Nope. Yes, yes. Ashley, you were the first one. How'd you get this one? Yeah. If that angle is 128, or sorry, if that angle is 128, its arc is 128. If that angle is 90, its arc is 90. And we all know that there are blank degrees in a circle, 360 degrees in a circle. So if we want the arc, if we want the arc that's missing, then we just add those up and subtract from 360. Final answer? 142 degrees. No dividing by two when there's no inscribed angles. Don't just divide something by two if you want it to be smaller. All right. Let me help you out. Oops. This will be on today's quiz. We haven't done these proportions in a day, so you might have forgot. L over C equals M over 360. It's hard to tell, but this is what you're looking for. You're looking for the pink arc. The pink is so close to the black that it's kind of hard to tell. What is it? Angle? You're looking for the arc length. M stands for the measure, M for measure of the angle. Slash arc. What's the L uh, for? Arc length. Ooh, try again. Look at, look at this letter right here. In terms of fire. No, no, look at this letter. Yes, in terms of pi. No. Just. No. Guys, what does C stand for? Circumference. You're not squaring anything. Uh, is that a five? The weirdest five I've ever seen. Yes. Yes. I'm not making fun of it. I just, it doesn't look like five. You caught it. No. Hey Megan, what's the circumference of this circle? Twenty-eight pi is the circumference of that circle. Melanie, what's the M? Sorry. Yes, yes, Elaine. Forty-five is the M, and this never ever changes. Three sixty. Good. When you're cross multiplying, you ignore the pie. Right. Like when you're eating dinner, you ignore dessert and you save it for the end. That is not right. I know pie. Yeah. Huh? So you multiply 28 times 45. You divide it by 360. No, yes. Your final answer is 3.5 pi centimeters, not squared. It's not an area. <laughs> Next one. Uh, it's really hard to tell what's pink. This is pink right here. Find the arc length again. I'll write the proportion again because you do not have to memorize this proportion. Oh, sorry. 
Nope. Use your brain. Please use your brain. Nope. Ding, ding, ding. Omar, you win. No, no. No. It's not a degree. We're finding a length of an arc. No, no. <laughs> Omar used his brain. So far, he's the only one. The angle has to go with the arc. You can't just grab any angle you want. The angle has to go with the arc. Are you looking for the purple arc? No. No, then don't use 60. Don't use 60. This is 60. This is M. The angle has to go with the arc. What is that angle? 120. 180 minus 60. Now you have the angle that actually goes with the arc you're trying to find. Use your brain. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. But no, you're off by 4 pi. And good, good, good. Close doesn't count, except in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yes, very good. Yes. I put 120 on the wrong side. Oh. Can I move on? Did we learn our lesson yet? Yes. Yes. L over 24 pi equals 120 over 360. That's the only thing y'all did wrong. Cross multiply, you get 8 pi feet. I care about the pi. I don't care as much about the feet, although you should have it. Next one. Arc length, the purple arc. Oh yeah. No, yes. Look at look at yours compared to his. making the same mistake twice in a row. Oh, crap. <coughs> Good job. No, no. Don't use 90. 90 is not the angle opening up to that purple arc. Very good. Uh, Naja, what was the circumference? 36 pi. And the missing angle because you have to have the angle that goes with the arc 270 that's 360 minus 90 so 270 and then we always put 360 there we cross multiply final answer was pi gotta put pi no pi no credit yeah I'm gonna have to bold it it's so hard to see same formula you're going to get so good at using that formula. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the decimal. First one, very good. I'm going to do awesome on this quiz. Good job, good job. You got it, you got it, you got it. Y'all are making me really happy. Awesome, awesome. I think we're ready to move past arc link. Very good. Oh my gosh. You've mastered a concept. Yes. I'm going to get some Yes. L over C equals M over 360. Now, wait a minute. Ms. Tan just told you, you can't use an angle that doesn't go with the arc. So why were we allowed to use that angle? Vertical angles. If that's 25, then by vertical angles, that one is 25. Why isn't the arc 25? 
It is. Remember, I, I gave a lecture on this. You have a height and a weight. An arc has a degree and, oh, it's not 18, 1.25. It has a degree and it has a length. Those are both true about that purple arc. The arc is 25 torn, but that's the measure, not the length. We have mastered arc length, so now let's make sure we remember how to find a sec. Oh, I'm getting too excited. My M's are going crazy. Now you can do what you were trying to do at the beginning of whiteboards. Square things. You could be first if you tried. You just have to talk to me. I gave you that. Circle. Area of a circle. Pi R squared. Need to memorize it. No, yes, yes, uh-uh, you know why, look at it again, don't do that on the quiz, yes, thank you, oh, no, your number was wrong, eight, four, is that what that says? Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Kendall, what's the area of the circle? Uh, 18 squared over 326. Okay. 324 pi equals, we didn't have to find the angle, the angle was handed to us. So the difference is when you're finding circumference, you double it. When you're finding area, you square it. Square it. That's where 324 came from. 18 squared. What was the final answer? 40.5 pi. Area of the shaded region. Why is this one taking me all so long? Yes, huh? yes. I can put it with this. Good job. You do better with this one? Yes. Yeah, shaded. Oh my god. I found the area of the other one. That's right, Shelby. That was right. Good. I found the ending of the one. Well, of course you did. Good, good. Very nice. Brett, set me up a proportion. Very good. <laughs> what goes here? <laughs> what? We don't know. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> Omar, where did he get two seventy from? <laughs> what? Subtract ninety. Subtract ninety from three sixty. The angle you need, the angle that's in the shaded region, is two seventy. One last problem, because I think we are doing well. Oh, no, we're moving on to some angles. Let's do some angles. This is fun. Fun and easy. We, no more proportions. No proportions on these. Very good. Very good. Very good. Quick and easy. Nice. Nice. Ooh, too big. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you made me nervous for a minute. What's the angle? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We learned yesterday that to find the measure of an inscribed angle, what do we do with the arc? Divide by two. 58 degrees. 116 divided by two. Quick. Verse one. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Try again. Good job. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Try again. That's okay. Very good. Very good. 
I didn't give you the arc. I gave you the angle. So instead of halving it, you're going to double it. 180. Semicircle. Semicircle. Uh-oh. I have to get my calculator out for this one. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Bigger than that. What are we doing? Finding angle B, please. Oh, same time. Good job, boys. Come on, you gotta try these. What's so funny? The giggles over there. Good. Yep, yep, and yep. 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 Yes. First, you gotta find the arc. That means you gotta take the angles and subtract from 360. What's that arc? What'd you get? 218. And then we know an inscribed angle is half the arc. So divide by 2. Thank you. An obtuse angle. 109. Okay, promise, last problem. Promise, last problem. Stop drawing turtles. <laughs> Hot. I started. Ooh. Yeah, Charles Betty. Find X and Y. You need to work on your numbers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. I just got like a six. It looks like a four. Or a nine. It looks like a four. Yes, yes. That's your was a four. Yep. That's your was a four. Two angles, oh then you got it wrong. Two angles that open up to the same arc are either start with E or C. Two angles, yes, that open up to the same arc are equal, congruent. So both of these equal the same number and they both equal 36. Very good. They are congruent. We are going to take our